Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> a very quick update here before I have to run again. Uh, life keeps getting in the middle. So what I wanted to update very quick here because we had this uh, flash crash in the whole market in general. So this is a chart for Bitcoin and we saw that it, uh, it topped at 11,500 more or less. And then it went down very quick to 8,800. So it's now uh, down trending but it's not even crashing or anything like that uh, we we can see here in the rsi it just crossed crossed bearish and it's starting to downtrend so it should be downtrending but I, I see here like a normal retracement i don't see like a crash in the market or anything like that uh, in other words i don't think this was the very top here or it would have been crashing much faster and much uh, deeper in my opinion, of course, anything can happen. But to be honest, and look, I'm holding a good amount of Bitcoins in my in my separate wallet, in my local wallet. I have uh, quite a lot of Bitcoin and even more Bitcoin cash. So it's not in my best interest that it goes down. I would prefer that it goes up because I would be making more money. But I know that if this doesn't retrace properly, if this continues to push up, we're really gonna enter bubble territory. Like, it's not gonna last much longer. This needs to come down a little bit, you know, at least, at the very least, it should come down to revisit this previous top here at 8,000, at least. So I'm hoping it, that it's, it goes in a downtrend to at least um, 8,000, but I'm not even sure it's gonna go that low here because people continues to buy the to buy the dips very very heavily so yeah i hope it can go down to 8000 at least so it would be you know a healthy correction here a healthy retracement before it can bounce and go up higher but you know if it doesn't even go up to 8000 then this is going to continue to go parabolic and and then soon we're going to have a real crash this is not a crash Okay, so yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. This um, looks like it's gonna go into a downtrend. So let's see how low it goes. I have no idea, but I'm hoping for this to go to at least eight thousand. Even if that means bringing the whole market down as well, I don't care. But we need a healthy retracement here, or it's gonna get very dangerous. So guys, the markets have been crashing, but I'm uh, myself. I'm good because I was ho uh, holding Dash, as you guys know. So I bought Dash here, uh, it went up a lot, uh, but then it retraced to the point where I bought here before. But as I have been saying, I'm not trading these things. These markets are bullish. Everything is uptrending, Bitcoin and altcoin. So I have no need to trade this. I was no worried uh, when, it, when it came down to my uh, point of entry. And if it would have gone lower, I would have been buying more, period. So um, I'm good because Dash has been going up. Um, these are the four hour candles. So since yesterday, it's like a 30%, uh, 30% gain that I have only in Dash. So this is saving me for the other, uh, things going down. Uh, for example, EOS is not doing much, but it's still a bop of my, uh, initial entry here. So I'm good with that. Fun fair, not doing anything. And Bitcoin cash is going down. So I bought more Bitcoin cash here where it says entered here uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before and it continued to go down if it goes down more to this line I'm gonna buy double than I bought here so I uh, the general message for this video is uh, I hope you are not buying dash in these highs and I hope you are not selling Bitcoin cash at these lows because you should be doing the opposite you should be selling dash now because dash is going to correct at some point it might go a little bit higher but dash will correct and uh, Bitcoin cash is going to bounce any any moment now so Bitcoin cash has been going down a lot like too much it's overextended on the downside so this is going to bounce anytime now. This is the time to buy, not to sell. I know people is freaking out because they're in losses, because maybe they bought, I don't know where you guys bought really this uh, Bitcoin cash to be freaking out that much. So, but don't freak out, man. Just buy the dips 
because we are in an uptrend. I have been saying this, so there's no reason to freak out. I have been saying it can go as low as one as 0 0.11. It's still not there. It's still 0 0.133. So, you know, there's room to go down more. And if it does go down more, I'm telling you guys, I'm buying it. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to accumulate as much Bitcoin cash as possible. And if it goes lower, it's so good because you can buy it cheaper. So don't sell these on the lows and don't buy Dash on the highs because I've seen a lot of hype in Dash. Oh, Dash, Dash is the only one that's, that's going up. I should buy now. No, you shouldn't buy now. Now it's gone up too much, too fast. So it's going to correct. You buy when it's going down. When nobody, when nobody wants it and it's going down, then it's when you buy it. I'm buying Bitcoin Cash. So that's all for this video, I guess. This is my Exodus wallet. I didn't send any more money here since uh, for a few videos now. Like my last deposit here was the 25th. Uh, see, received here the 25th of um, November. And I didn't, uh, I didn't send any more money from my profits in, uh, in BitConnect. Uh, I'm still accumulating a little bit more in BitConnect before I send it here. So I didn't make any new deposit and I'm still, my portfolio is exactly the same as it was yesterday and two days ago. So I still have 0 0.61 in Bitcoin, which is 5,900. So I'm not losing any money here. Honestly, I don't know how people is losing money in such a bullish market, even with the with the flash crash that, that we had. It's probably because you freak out and you sell low and uh, and buy high because there's no other way to lose money in this market right now. I didn't do anything. If you don't do anything, you do nothing right now. You only buy the lows and nothing else and stop freaking out. Go about your life, go to the beach, go to the gym, do something with your life. Don't be looking at the screen all day. You don't need to do anything like that these market conditions are extremely easy to make money you don't have to do anything right so and another thing for bitconnect i noticed that uh bitconnect versus bitcoin started to uptrend now i mean this is not confirmed yet we don't have like 100 percent confirmation but after this whoops after this uh final drop here with a lot of volume it went back up really quick and we had a lot of volume here buying volume if you can see here and then after this we had a little bit of uh, profit taking here it went down but it failed to do a lower low is you, if you see the lowest point here then when it dropped the next time it didn't make a lower low it did a higher low and now this seems to be uptrending here so I got some some money here from my interest and my, and my commission. So I have 3.5 BitConnect tokens here that I got yesterday. This is around uh, $1,000 uh, $1, more or less. I'm not exchanging it for Bitcoin. As you can see, I'm keeping it here. I'm accumulating BitConnect token again, like I did in my first month in this platform. Why? Because it seems this, this wants to uptrend now. So if I was to change this now, I would get how much Bitcoin? I would get 0 0.1 Bitcoin if I exchange my 3.5 Bitcoin coins right now. But if I wait until this goes up, if it really goes up now, which I don't have confirmation, like it's not for sure, but it looks like it more than not. <clears throat> so if I am correct and this starts to up 10, I will wait. And when it's up here, then I will change it for Bitcoin and I'm going to get more than 0 0.1. Maybe I'm going to get 0 0.2 or whatever the amount is. But now it's time to not change your Bitcoin coins for Bitcoin yet. Just wait here because this looks like it wants to start up trending again. I hope this makes sense, guys. Uh, that's how you do it. That, that's how you follow trends and that's how you make the most out of it. So guys, I'm going to leave the video here. If I have time, I would love to do a live stream later when I come back. I got to run, take my cats to the bed right now. But um, I would love to do a live stream with uh, live technical analysis for other coins because I am reviewing only the coins that I hold. But I know there's so many other coins that are setting up very nice uh, for profits. So I would like to do that in a live stream. I'll try my best to do it to, uh, later today. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.